Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2019 SHOT Show is sponsored by Hog Holsters, Olight Flashlights, and Heal That Pain Shoe Insert. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2019 SHOT Show. And we had a different video we did about the um, about backpacks, but I'm here with Tim from Maxpedition. And I was talking to him, I just he's got a fascinating story. I thought we would just go shortly share with share it with you. Sometimes it's good to, to learn about the people behind the behind the companies. And we some of us may think of Maxpedition as like this huge corporate conglomeration, but actually it, it, Tim's Tim's the founder and creator of Maxpedition and he started this from from his interest in outdoors. So he's not just some business dude that decided he was gonna make a trying to figure out how to make a buck from the outdoor community, right? So um, so first of all, again, thanks thanks Thank for you. taking a minute. And I kind of put him on the spot here because he wasn't planning on doing this video, but I said, I, let's kind of share your backstory. So, if I if, if I remember right, you actually were born here in the U.S. and you were you went I was, your family is based from I guess historically from Taiwan. You went to med school in Taiwan. Right. So I went to med school in Taiwan mostly because uh, I mean I I'm, I'm educated in America, but I went to med school in Taiwan mostly because uh, my family has a, a medical business in Taiwan and. And uh, you know, I was always uh, viewed as the person who would, who would continue that. So I, I went back to Taiwan for med school a few years, and um, that's sort of how this got started. Because uh, prior to my move, uh, I had already been in interested in this industry, had already come to Shot Show and gone to an, know a lot of people in the industry, especially uh, tactical knives. And when I when I moved to Taiwan uh, after high school, um, I started importing tactical knives and tactical products into Taiwan and distributing it to the local local stores. And through that, I actually got to know um, some of the factories uh, that produce uh, this type of product. And, you know, combining that with my my ideas about how, how tactical uh, gear should be, you know, that was sort of the birth of, of Maxpedition. That's pretty cool. And, and I also learned you... Since we're here at SHOT Show, it's fitting. You launched Maxpedition at SHOT Show, right? That's correct. I launched right. Maxpedition at SHOT Show 2014. Wow, 2014. So, in... No, sorry. 2004. 2004, yeah. yeah. So, this say, is yeah, my yeah, 16th yeah. SHOT Show. Wow. So, this is 16th SHOT Show. Man, you're a trooper, because this is my fifth or fourth or fifth. I don't even remember. Fourth or fifth. Fourth, and gosh, I'm wore out already. I can't imagine. You're just standing strong. So... Uh, and this was basically, this is not a, a, a product sales video or anything else, but just to real quickly, so yeah, you just started the, so the evolution this, of, this of the first, the first design, right? Basically. Yeah, so this is one of our first designs, and we launched at 2004 SHOT Show. All of our products basically look like this. Uh, 2004 being a few years after the invention of the Mali system, which is all this stuff over here. So um, at that point, all of our line was based on military Mali system. We're making gear that was designed for military and law enforcement applications. And then everybody in the universe copied this basic style bag. That exactly. Point. There's so many copies of this and of many of our legacy bags. Right. Right. Um, this, the sales of these bags are still, you know, relatively strong, right. I would say. But um, in, sorry, I guess we weren't supposed to talk about sales. But no, in, that's okay. But he's an entrepreneur, man. He cannot the, help himself. <laughs> it's the uh, but it's it's a still it's still a line that's in high demand. Yeah. Uh, customers still like it. In 2006, uh, in 2016, uh, that's three years ago. What we did is we looked at this line. It had, had been around for a long time. So we, we thought, you know what? What can we do better? How, you know, how can we improve it? So we looked at all the components, construction methods, and tried to figure out, well, what is the future of this bag? How would this bag look in the future? And that's when we came up with AGR Advanced Gear Research, which is this bag. So this yeah, bag pretty cool. is how we envision the evolution of the Legacy line to the future, this being AGR. Uh, dual fabric construction, so we're using, still using the same thousand denier tough material, but in areas that, doesn't, that don't get a lot of abrasion, we've incorporated this custom uh, 500 denier hex fabric for weight, weight reduction. So this is like the Blade Runner bag. Sure, <laughs> you know, it's definitely yeah. it's definitely more futuristic. Yeah, you know, we instead of the webbing molly, we've gone to a laser cut applet system, which is molly compatible. We're using a lot more uh, inlaid construction, so everything looks clean and streamlined. Uh, we're using a gossamer mesh and a very visible grayscale interior on the interior uh, for you know, the better materials. 
We've developed custom uh, materials like handle webbing, which goes from flat to round to flat. It's just a lot of innovations that, that went into the AGR line. And then, so I would consider, say, say this is like the Rambo line, and this is the uh, Blade Runner line, then you got what I would consider the James Bond line here, right? James so Bond this line, is like there you go. So, very low profile, well, let's say kind of understated. Two years ago, in 2018, um, Max Fishin added our third product line, and this line was, again, based on user feedback. Customers that had been using Max Fishin for over a decade said, hey, you know, all this stuff, we love your functionality, but sometimes it looks too tactical. It looks yeah. too tactical, meaning, meaning it looks too much like a military bag or a law enforcement bag, or it, gives, it lets people know, hey, maybe this guy, you know, is carrying a gun inside the bag. So they wanted something that had what looked absolutely discreet. Yeah, so yeah. which is why we created the entropy line. Our line of covert concealed carry bags that look like this allows you to hide in plain sight. Yeah, cool. So, so last question. What's what's next for Max Expedition? Any, any any secrets you can tell us? Any upcoming sneak peeks that are coming up? Anything new? Uh, well, the entropy line is, is, is strong. Uh, people are, are wanting more of this. So I think you're going to see more developments in covert concealed carry in yeah. in the March April time frame. We're launching a few more backpacks that are sort of follow the same path of uh, discrete concealed carry. Um, I think in the future you're going to see even more even more tactical products that don't look tactical. I guess. So are we going to get without like, giving away too much? I guess that's yeah, yeah. that's the best way to describe it. Yeah. So we're going to start seeing like pink and teal and. You know, aqua colors for, 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 for the ladies out there? Uh, probably not bright colors. <laughs> probably not bright colors. Okay, uh, but... But, yeah, I think this color is a good good unisex color, yeah, you know. Good. It, 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 it works. Yeah. Well, that's great. You know, I just like... I thought I would share this story with you. It's always, to me, um, to, it's interesting to hear where people came from and people's background. It's also um, encouraging to, to hear stories of true American entrepreneurship, people that have just... You know, built something up from the bootstraps and created a success. And I think Max Edition has definitely done that. And I'll congratulate you on that, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2019 SHOT Show. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2019 SHOT Show. Once again, I'd like to thank my sponsors and encourage you to go check them out. First of all, Hog Holsters, helping Americans wear guns. Olight Flashlights, makers of the... PL Mini, PL Valkyrie, and lots of other cool flashlights. And the folks at Heal That Pain Heel Seats, which I'm wearing right now, they literally changed my life. So I encourage you to check them all out. Tell them I said hello and thanks for sponsoring this year's coverage of the 2019 SHOT Show. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.